from starting from feed water, which looks like this, which will then undergo various stages of purification and refinery until it gets to a point where it looks like this. At this stage, it looks pretty clean and has been assumed to be very um, safe for human consumption. But is it really? It's this main question. Here's the reason why. As the techniques and instruments which are used for water testing are getting more and more advanced, new classes of pollutants are being detected in our water sources, including the drinking water. These pollutants have got very, very small sizes and are not visible to the naked eye. They are called micropollutants. Micropollutants have been identified to originate from a number of sources, including pesticides, pharmaceutical and personal health care products, such as the medications that we take and the lotions that we put on, and many other industrial pollutants. Um, recent studies have shown that some of these micropollutants have been deemed harmful to the health of humans. For some of these micropollutants, their harmfulness to people is still unknown. But apart from the risks and dangers that micropollutants are presenting to humans, one needs to take a step back and consider what is the public perception with regard to their presence in water. If I were to ask you this question, would you feel comfortable knowing that the water that you consume each and every single day may contain traces of ARVs in it? even though such water will not pose a direct risk to your health? I bet very few of us can respond in the affirmative saying that they'll be comfortable consuming such water. The saddest thing of it all is that currently used filters in water purification cannot or are failing to remove these micropollutants. To further demonstrate this fact, I'd like for us to imagine that the stuff which is responsible for the brown color in this liquid could be due to micropollutants. This is how a filter that is currently used in water filtration would normally try to remove these micropollutants. So what we see coming out from the other side is water which still has this brown color. This means that this filter is failing to completely remove not just the brownness, but the micropollutants in our case. So what my project is based on is coming up with a filter which will have very, very small pore sizes smaller than these micropollutants, such that they are effectively removed from water. How we plan on doing that is by incorporating materials called carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes are materials which are tubular in structure, just like a straw, but have got very, very narrow openings. So this means that they will allow for only pure water molecules to pass through while rejecting a large amount of micropollutants. So in essence, my research is looking at how is looking at not only providing water which is clean, but water that will be safe for human consumption, such that there are no um, delayed illnesses, um, which will then lead to a reduction in vitality and economic productiveness of our continent. Thank you very much.